nice Sunday and I'm here for a day trip to Kayama and my first stop is uh, Minamara Rainforest. I started my day with a really nice brunch at Steaks Lane Cafe which was really amazing and I was so hungry I couldn't shoot. I was busy eating so if you're here do pay that place a visit and right now I am here doing the Rainforest Falls, no the Falls Walk in Minamara Rainforest and it looks really nice. Um, the park entry fees is $12 for a car and because the parking is small, like not small, it gets busy so there might be delays. I had to wait about 20 minutes in my car before getting in. So that's there and this is the rainforest. <laughs> rainforest <sighs> one is the rainforest loop walk and the other one is falls walk so the loop walk is about 45 minutes return I think grade one or two easily accessible by uh, prams and kids and toddlers so that's like a family walk <sighs> it, it gives you a um, a view of the Minamara Falls. Oh, I'm out of breath. And then the other one, which I am doing, and as you can see, I am actually. Ah, I can't breathe. So the second walk is the Falls Walk, which is a two and a half. It's, it's an extension of the Rainforest Loop Walk. So you start from the same same point and you just continue up ahead. And it's another one hour, two and a half kilometers return and it takes you to the second part of Miramara Falls which is amazing and if you are up for some steep sections and a little bit of challenging walk this is it for you it looks really nice and it's perfect for a hot day like this <laughs> look amazing and especially it's a hot day so it looks it feels really great up being up here so the next stop here in Kayama which is actually Kayama Downs is Cathedral Rocks which is a beautiful rock formation um, really beautiful at sunrise that's what I was aiming for but I couldn't make it here so now I am here to see this beautiful beautiful beach and it looks really amazing see for yourself so if you want to get to Cathedral Rock Cave the one you see in every other picture um, you have to actually park at Jones Beach car park and then uh, go to the beach Jones Beach and walk to the right and that's when you have this we straight up went to Cathedral, Cathedral Rocks which showed on Google Maps and it's the other side and you can't access it in a, like mid or high tide it's about a couple of hundred meters walk to here the actual cave and the rocks and it's stunning I think everyone should do it
bringing anything with you take it back don't leave any litter please 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 don't um, ruin the oceans <laughs>